you kill me now, you lose that chance. Oh, really? Uh, oh. We had a deal before, you and I. That one worked out well for you. He told me he intended to use the device to save his daughter. Imogen. She died over a hundred years ago. Exactly. Time travel. It's impossible. That's what I said. I told him he was mad. But he said he'd found a way. That he had a cure, a praxian cure for her disease. What difference would that make? And why would you allow him to live? He promised to take me with him. Back to Oxford. Before... Before we injected the source blood. Why would you want to do that? You know why? If I could have prevented us from taking that damnable blood, things would have been so different. You and I could have been together. Raised children. Why would you think you would have been altering the course of history. That was the point. But Adam's blood inside the module. You sent back the Calorum device. Well, that he copied down its specifications. He used time notes to allow himself to finish. We needed to prevent you from looking for us. And where is Adam now? He disappeared. He had no intention of honoring his word. So now you've come to me for help. Yes. Are you serious? If Adam succeeds in altering the timeline, then everything about our world, the, the refugees, the sanctuary, our very lives, will be irreparably damaged. We may even cease to exist. The butterfly effect will be like Carrington all over again. Except on a much larger scale. And with a copy of the Calorum device, Adam has all the power he needs to carry it out. Okay, I get it, but what about Lee and Villanova? They aren't gonna be too thrilled when they find out you're gone. You'll have to explain my absence somehow, but leave Adam out of it. There's no sense spreading panic. I'll be in touch as soon as I can. Shall we? Reasonable. Reasonable? We're talking about confinement. It's for our own safety. We can take care of ourselves. Things are different up here. The humans know nothing of the existence of our kind. Then maybe it's time they were told. We can't upset the balance of power. We decided to come here. This is their land. Now you sound just like a Praxian. I will need your voice to convince the others. Will I have it? You know the surface lovers better than I. I won't stand in your way. I said I was sorry. And that's supposed to make it okay. You put the lives of billions of people at risk. I was following my heart. Your heart? Mm. John, when are you going to get over this foolish obsession, trying to force us together? You've been at it for over a hundred years. It hasn't always been one sided We are not meant to be together. You do not believe that. I do. We've never been able to make it work, ever. When this is over, I don't want to see you again. All this because I didn't kill Worth for you. How hypocritical. What? You claim to revile my bloodlust until you need it. And you're more than happy for me to step in and do all your dirty work. If I'd been inside that transport module, I'd have taken care of things myself, thank you. In any case, I wouldn't have been taken in by his lies. How could you think that rewriting the past was any kind of solution? You'd really wipe out the last hundred years without so much as a second thought. To be with you? Oh, yes. If who I am now is so meaningless to you, that you would sacrifice it in order to bed me in some other timeline? John, that's not love. Hi. <laughs> I got a present for you. Hmm. 
It's Azure. Um, it's not the same as yours, but I figured it would keep you busy for a while. I can't believe you would do this for me. Well, it's nothing. We keep geological samples on hand in the sanctuary for habitat building and stuff, so. Leave it to you to find a cozy seat for your first day here. What did you call him? You heard me. It's OK. I don't even know what that means. No, but he does. He should know better. Guys, I don't think this is a good idea. Crap! <laughs> Dr. Zimmerman, where is Dr. Magnus? She's working on something right now. What could possibly be more important than this? An incident has come up that has far-reaching ramifications on the current situation. It's time-sensitive and something that only Magnus herself can deal with. I need you to get her back now, or I'll have no option than to put General Villanova exclusively in charge of the refugees' care. That won't be necessary. The sanctuary has everything in hand. Dr. Zimmerman! Uh, I, I gotta go. This tunnel comes out just above the city. Shouldn't we have encountered a perimeter garrison by now? Yes, it is odd. Come to think of it, I haven't seen anyone since we got down here. Where is everybody? Praxis. It's gone. <sighs> what happened here? Worth. He must have made another attempt to power up the machine. Another attempt? Carrington. It's his first experiment. The machine overloaded. A time bubble escaped. Traveled up a fissure in the earth. A fissure created by the fire elemental I buried in 1944. All these people. The technology, the advancements. We have to warn Henry and Will. With Praxis no longer in control down here, there's nothing to stop the tide of Hollow Earth abnormals from breaching the surface. These were Rana's chambers. Before he does any more damage. This lab is back in the tunnels. It was the last place I saw it. with one of the abnormals, Garrus, and someone made a crack. And that led to this? <sighs> yeah, it just seemed to escalate off real quick. Did you get a look at the guys who started or where they went? Yeah, they're in a tent, this way. You see the way they treat us? Like beasts, whipping us into submission. Alan believes that we should bow down to them, spend the rest of our lives in a prison. Well, I, for one, am not willing to do that. If we're not careful, she'll sell us out for her own gain. Once a Praxian, always a Praxian! What do we do? Tell Lieutenant Coxwell? Mm, might make matters worse. Let me talk to Fallon first. Yeah, and I gotta find Garrus. Just up ahead. Still no sign of him. Is there anywhere else he could be? I searched everywhere before coming to you. Some of his systems are still online. What are you doing? There might be some information on here about Adam's machine. Specs, energy signatures, anything Henry might be able to use to help us find him. 
Let's see what we can download. Garrus. I looked for you in the infirmary. I am so sorry for what happened. It wasn't your fault. Are you okay? I'm fine. You shouldn't trouble yourself. It's no trouble. Okay then. It's better that you and I are not seen together. Why, because of them? No, it has nothing to do with that. Then what? Tell me, what's going on? Nothing. You should go. Right. Take this to the surface. Warn them about Praxis. I'll go through Adam's logs, see if there's any indication of other hideouts it might be I'm using. I'm here all alone. Take too long to get to a place where I can teleport from. If Adam comes back, I'll be ready. Go. Fallon? Hey, it's me. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Go get the others. Well, hold on. This isn't what it looks like. What have you done? Nothing. I, I found her this way. Come on. Just ho ho hold on a second. Really? Really, you want to... Lee and Villanova are screaming. Yeah, of course they are. Any word from Kate or Biggie? No. What about the cell phone? 